They're back. How did it go? The beast should trouble us no further. Well, that's a bloody relief. So you put down old Garm, did you? Yeah. Sort of. Atreus, your decision to go to Asgard after all he's put us through. I'll never understand it. But I hope you at least came back with something we can use. I hope so, too. Come on, let me show you what Odin's up to. Here's what he cares about most. More than Ragnarok or anything, is this mask. Anyone recognize it? That thing? Ugh, oh, it's a dead end. He's been faffing around with that since before I knew him. To be honest, I thought the giants were just having a laugh with that one. Okay, fine. No. You're wrong, Namir. This mask is no fraud. The giants didn't make it, and only a few of them ever glimpsed it in their visions. They never knew its origin, but some believed it was a way to gaze into the secrets of creation itself. Is it an oracle? Much, much more. Imagine becoming one with a source of infinite knowledge. This? This is why Odin tortured me. So what do you think? Know it? No. It's one obsession he never saw fit to share with me. But I'll tell you this. Even when Odin speaks the truth, his purpose is false. Either way, it's a mistake to let it distract us. Is Heimdall our focus or not? We will rewrite our fate another way. Then I'm going back to Vanaheim. If we're not taking the fight to Odin, I should help my brother stand against him. if I can think of a plan. But if you want to go anywhere, I'm with you. And listen, everyone, I'm really sorry about the way I left. You know I've never heard any of you on purpose. Well, when you can turn into a bear by accident, I suppose these things can happen. Kid? You make up your mind. Hey, wait. We're with you.
Anaheim. Great. You to check on Freya? Yes. Glad I get to come this time. So what happened the last time you were in Vanaheim? I still don't know how you got Freya to stop trying to kill you. We traveled to her village to break Odin's spell. Once freed, she accepted that I was not her enemy. You also missed a highly entertaining moment where Brock was lifted ass over face in Freya's camp. You met Freya? What's he like? Different from his sister. Lacks her conviction. True. But he's a bit quicker to forgive. And an ineffective leader. But his heart's in the right place. You'll like him, lad. Wow. It's beautiful. And, uh, wet. It is also dangerous. More dangerous than hell? Freya's camp is to the right. No rushes, that. Not every day the lad gets to see a new realm. To Freya's camp, then. Time to see how the Vanir have fared in our absence. I hope Freya's okay. She can care for herself. They're still checking on her, though? Her brother's forces are outnumbered, and there is much I owe her. Don't like this, brother. Kratos, Atreus, a welcome reunion. Unexpected, but welcome. You know us? Can't be. Is that who I think? Oh, you shifty bastard. It's almost good to see you again. And for once in the shape of a man, or nearly. So that's how they got your head out of your ass. Maybe now you'll stop being such a half-blind, piss-drunk, oversexed liar. He was more of a pig than I ever was. I do not know you. Do you not recognize your handiwork? Hildas Vini! Remember when we first met Freya in the woods? After I... Oh... I am so... so sorry about that. Freya's poor. Her advisor. And friend. Counselor to the Vanir. And yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. And then you shot me. At my command. No. My arrow, my mistake. Forgotten. Vanaheim needs our help more than ever. Even Mimir's. Come. Just watch where you aim that bow of yours. My hide's not so thick in this form. Head out whenever you're ready. Where are we going? I have a favor to ask. I'll explain on the way.
Where is Freya? She came here to help her brother. She leads the search party for Freya and Big Finger. They've been captured by the Ainhur. How did that happen? An ambush. The presence has intensified since your last visit. To make matters worse, the Celestial Wolves haven't been seen in days. Or at least I assume. Not easy. Taking time with no moon this night. No moon. Just like in their shrine. Their shrine? It's a long story. You want us to check on them? You have my gratitude. We're spread thin. And if anyone can help Skull and Hati, he'd be a fellow giant. Very well. Freya mentioned you had a way past this. Continue down this path and you'll find their dead. Good luck. And don't shoot any boards. Trust me, lad. The old swine still carried a grudge. You'd know it. What happened between you two? The usual. Miscommunication, conflicting loyalties, broken promises. Nothing to concern yourself with. I'm not concerned. Just curious. Curiosity's all well and good. But so is privacy, eh? Okay, okay. Point taken. <laughs> You know, lad, this excursion into Vanaheim means you've now visited each of the Nine Realms. Huh. Guess you're right. Not many mortals can claim such a feat. Not many gods either. Even your father has yet to grace the halls of Asgard. I'm in no hurry to do so. 
How does Vinny said both Bray and Big Bear were captured? Big Bear is the light elf who wanted to learn more about that library in Alphonse, right? Correct. An exiled scholar married to a warrior, Bela. Why was he exiled? You'll have to ask him for the full tale. But I take it that he and Bela's quest to unite their people was frowned upon. Wait, Bela's a dark elf? Yes. Wow. Well, that raises even more questions. Hockey catch the sun and moon, right? I said it was foretold, lad. Prophecy. Which after our time with the Norns, we've all had quite enough of. But Odin still believes. It's gotta be why the Ainoyar stole the moon. He's still trying to avoid Ragnarok. Or he prepares for it. Fights a proxy war in this realm to distract his enemies. Yeah. Or that, I guess. <laughs> Excited to meet Skull and Hattie, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. It's gonna be weird meeting them in person. 
Legend meeting reality. At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain. Uh, hello? I think they're sleeping. Well, there you have it. The legendary celestial wolves. Supremely entertaining, as promised. Remember their shrine? They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Right, well... Guess we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. Shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box, if memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye, that's the rub of using prophecy as a map, isn't it? Bit sparse on the details. There's a war camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard their bounty. We will try that first. <laughs> Not much army, really. Although Beer Girl was a soldier, once walking the path of a traveler. I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. A traveler that doesn't want to kill us. That's nice. Vanier aren't all hardened warriors like our dear Freya. Those who survive the warfare find it easier to hide in the jungle and use nature as their shield. I bring it down. We strike. Yep.
off? Down there. That's gotta be it. That puts a dent in Odin's forces, at least for the time being. I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers anytime soon. <laughs> Charm. They are not smart. I and there's that. You know what we're doing right now? All of this? It's almost exactly how we saw it play out back in Skull and Hockey Shrine. The wolves are back in Vanaheim. We're rescuing the moon. Yes. I remember the prophecy. So, doesn't it make you worried? Everything we're doing now happened in the Yotnar Shrine. Remember our agreement. Prophecy will not dictate our actions. What is that? A wyvern! Nasty beast! Careful, wives! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! 
Heimdall must have grabbed this while I freed Garm. Uh, I was there, but I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you, you're right. We can return to the den through here. They will pursue. Keep your guard up. Father. How are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the Giants said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. straight into Ragnarok. Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from... Would you turn your back on the wolves? On this realm? Remember our agreement. The lad does make some good points, though. As long as Atreus lives, so be it. nothing. I do this. Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. Anytime we need them. Feels like they want us to use it at one of the altars. 
Perhaps Freya will know. So in essence, they just gave us the keys of dusk till dawn. Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hilda's Finney and tell him about our work. Yeah? Yes. Back to the camp. Look out! That wasn't the same one from earlier, was it? No. They come back fast. Not that fast. In Asgard, what else did you see of Odin's army? Well, all these Anhariar we've been fighting, they've already died in battle once. We kill them here, and they'll just wake back up in Valhalla. They never truly die. Should it come to war, we do well to have our own endless army of dead soldiers. You mean Helheim's army, like the prophecy said. It will not come to that. Gross. get across from up here. <laughs> so, we report back to Hilda's Feeney, then what? We came here to help Freya. 
We will not leave without rescuing her brother and the light elf. Okay, but Odin's not gonna stop searching for masterpieces. That is his concern, not ours. Sure, but if that mask offers all the answers... Then it will surely exact the price. Be wary of shortcuts to knowledge. Yes, Father. Do all the plants you want to kill us? No, no. Only the canopsis ones. Ah, that wrinkly mug belongs to Helka. She's a blowthunder. Hounds mm. prized for their pinpoint mm. accurate tracking abilities. Mm. You'll love her. Kratos, Atreus. That eclipse was your doing, I take it. Thank you for coming. Big Vir used the diversion to escape. What about your brother? We know where they're holding him now. Vela's already prepped the explosives. If you're with me, we can leave as soon as you're ready. I could use another shapeshift. Go with him, Atreus. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir. The fuse is but 30 heartbeats. That's enough. Once you see the signal, count it down. Come, Kratos. We should get moving. The wolves gave us a scepter. They will answer, should we call on them. Good. There's a shortcut to New York's temple we can use in daylight. Ain't her yara holding fear in your father's own temple? It's been empty for as long as I can remember. There's a altar across the river. According to Victor, the altars were once used to signal the wolves. And now we have just the scepter to do it. The broken Muspelheim seat is now complete. We should find a mystic gateway. Perhaps we'll find Surtur's combat challenges. What is your plan? I'll fire off the beacon. A signal for Vela and Birger to set off their distraction. The Dark Elf Hive. Nice to not be on the receiving end of it for once. With their attention drawn elsewhere, you and I can assault the main force from behind. While Atreus and Hildesfini slip in to rescue your brother in the confusion. Yes. Once we see their beacon, we'll regroup by the river and escape on Freyr's boat.
need more soldiers since our last visit. Hmm. Our disadvantages are many. Try dragging the scepter across the bell a few times. realm followed the prophecy of the giants. Atreus believes Ragnarok is inevitable. The Norns were quite clear on the nature of prophecy. They told us that some of our choices were predictable. But we have changed. Perhaps. Forgive me for being ahead on a belt, but haven't we all just established how prophecy is pure havers? What? The most annoying man alive.
It was in our way. Aye, I don't doubt it. Curious, though. What was she doing here? Odin used roots of the World Tree as part of his spell that kept me from leaving Midgard. Mithog protects the tree wherever they are. Ah, I see. Odin used her. And she unwittingly paid the price. Classic Odin. ready to fight on his own. This is it. There's an altar behind you. <laughs> Call on Skull, please. Are you ready? I am. Are you? I'm not leaving you. <laughs> We're coming for you, Envy. Queen Mistletoe herself. Hilarious, by the way. Been a while. I'm dull. <laughs> and you 
Must be the little half-breed's father. Lucky day! <laughs> you have a lot to answer for, Sunshine. You too, traitor. Better a traitor than Odin's lapdog. Hmm. <laughs> the burden is mine. I can help. I know. But you are needed elsewhere. He's right, you know. Sizzles wasn't looking so hot last I saw. I know you didn't want this. But we know how this ends. See you soon. Well, we both know that's not true. <laughs> but don't worry, Frigg. I'll be coming for you and your brother as soon as I am finished here. Now, what you got? Drop me up to go off. I can feel your frustration, It is immensely satisfying. What now, brother? The spear remains our best chance. Down. 
Spare me out of pity. <laughs> Let it go, and you may live. Is this about the little runt? Oh, now I am definitely going to gut him. <laughs> <laughs> this is your final warning. I don't think a warning is going to cut it. You think you get to just walk away? No. That is not how this works. <laughs> <laughs> That was just... Uh, I don't know if we are breaking fate, or fate's breaking us.
But at least the rescue's going well.
easy to see in your faces. <laughs> Relax. It's flying! We're flying! I knew it would do that. We have guests! That's the end of Birger. You think he survived that? He's down there picking the dirt out of his nails with the beast's feathers. You'll see. Yeah. He has to be. We're almost there, Ingvi. Just hold on a bit longer. I don't suppose I have much of a choice at the moment. and boiling water. Red root and lamb's grass. I know, I know. You think I never staunch a bleeder before? Oh, now don't you go worrying, boss. I didn't go through any of your stuff while you was off being tortured. Ah, damn it, Linda. Easy. Heck you says it made for. I'm the one who stuck you like a damn pig. No offense. Freya, mind giving her a hand? We're just taking over entirely? Hold still. She'll just get you stable so I can take you to Sindri's house. The rest of my herbs are there. We'll protect the realm in your absence. <sighs> the four of us. Vanaheim's in good hands. Buddy, it's Sindri's house, huh? Whoever that is. Your boat. Nope. Your boat. Go on. Take it. Sail the skies. Sun yourself on its bow. You look like you could use it. <laughs> Make a Vanir god proud. Gave you his boat? Nice. He left me no choice. Because it was necessary, not because it was written. <laughs> 